or do anything in your space to make yourself feel more zen, go for it. And then let's just start in ah, forward fold. I know that's kind of funny, kind of different, but since we're only going for 30 minutes, we're gonna like get right into it. My hamstrings need some nice stretching. So let's take our feet out at least hip width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. All of your toes face directly forward. And then big or little bend in your knees. So for me, I usually go with a big bend. And then if you want to ragdoll, grab opposite elbows or even bring your hands behind your head and interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. So just getting right into our forward fold. And let's take three great big deep breaths here. So next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can. See if you can feel your back body really expand, whole. And then big sigh out your mouth. Ah, maybe you sway or bounce a little bit. Do that two more times. Inhale, fill up. See if you can lift your butt higher, feel your breath in your back body, and even imagine you can breathe into the backs of your legs, hold. And then when you're ready, open mouth, sigh. Ah, one more time, just like that. Great big, huge inhale. Hold in fullness, extra sip at the top. Sigh it out your mouth, let it go, maybe bounce it out, sway it out, bob. Now drop into your ujjayi breath, find a halfway lift. So stick your butt out and reach the crown of your head forward and hold here for a moment as you really connect with your ujjayi. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. Take one more big, huge inhale. And then as you exhale, let that go. Root through your feet, come through your halfway lift and rise all the way up, arms to the sky, big stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's take a couple half sun salutes. Inhale, reach up and stretch. Swan back as you exhale. So stick your butt out, reach your heart forward, and then all the way down. Let it go. Ha. Halfway lift. Inhale. So lots of length. Back of your neck long. Exhale. Let it go. Fold deeply. Press into your feet. Lead with your heart all the way to stand. Arms reach up. Inhale. And hands to your heart center. One more time like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, slow, intentional dive. Traction out your spine. Let it all go. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold and bow. Press into your feet. Reverse swan dive takes you up. Arms reach up. Hands to heart as you exhale. All right, this time arms to the sky. And then exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. So you'll hopefully feel this one in your shoulders, get that nice stretch through the front. So roll your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades hug towards your spine. And then if you want a little bit more intensity, you can even press your palms together. Start to reach your hands back away from your body. And then if you want a little bit extra, see if you can lift your heart up, little baby back bend. Keep your clasp, take one more inhale. Keep your clasp, exhale, dive down, forward fold. Bend your knees a little or a lot, whatever feels better. Relax your neck, let your head hang heavy. See if you can lift your butt, your sit bones. See if you can lift your knuckles. Work that opening in the front of your shoulders. Maybe shake your head. Yes, no. Ah, big breaths. One more inhale. 
Exhale, hands to your low back, then release your clasp, let your arms hang. As you are ready, so maybe you take a little shake out. As you're ready, plant your hands and step your feet back to plank. Move through your vinyasa however you would like, or if you want to skip it today, skip it. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. All right, big deep breaths in your down dog. Push the ground away. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky. As you exhale, use your core strength, step your right foot forward, low lunge. And we're gonna stay low and twist. So left hand on the ground, right arm to the sky, open up through the right side of your heart. Legs strong, especially your back leg. Sometimes I like to take my right arm behind my back. See if you can, with each exhalation, pull your belly button back away from your front thigh, twist a little bit further. Take one last big breath. End of your exhale, slowly unwind. Walk your hands over to the left long edge of your yoga mat. So instead of staying in this wide-legged straddle position, bring your heels in and point your toes out and you might wanna heel toe your feet in a little bit more than once. We're gonna come down into a low squat, malasana. So if possible, heels stay down, heels are in, toes are out. If you need to lift your heels, that's okay. Elbows to your inner thighs and then hands to your heart. Prayer position is fine. I like two fists and then I press my fists together. It just helps me get my knees a little bit wider, makes my arms a little longer, essentially. <laughs> and then if you feel like you're rounding your spine a lot, curling in, see if you can lengthen. So imagine you're a turtle coming out of its shell. Lift through the crown of your head. Lengthen your spine, broaden your shoulders. Take about three more breaths. For some people, this position is really easy. It's natural. If you're like me, this is super uncomfortable. Breathe down into your hips, your pelvis, your groin. Last round, feel free to take an open mouth exhalation. All right, we're gonna come back to our wide-legged straddle. So fingertips down. Oh, lift your hips, heel toe your feet out. <clears throat> as wide as you want to go, toes face directly forward. Your feet are now parallel. Inhale, halfway lift, so lengthen. And then exhale, just fold. Crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. Or if there's any variation you want to take here, go for it. So get whatever you need out of this posture. Make sure your breath is right there with you. All right, one last round in your wide-legged forward fold. As you inhale, come back to a halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground. Walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward back to a low lunge. Take it back to a three-legged down dog. So right legged, all <laughs> right legged, right leg all the way back and up. And then open up through your right hip. Bend your right knee. Perfect place to stay or option to flip your dog. Right foot comes down. Lift your heart. Reach your heart forward. Reach your right arm forward. Breathe down into your belly. One more full round of breath. And then regular down dog. Walk it out. So nice and easy. And then after a couple rounds of breath in down dog, you can either move through a vinyasa, come to rest in child's pose, or just bring your knees down, come to rest in child's pose. Skip the vinyasa.
And in your child's pose, just big, deep breaths. All right. One more grounding, restorative breath. Feel free to give yourself an open mouth sigh. <sighs> Downward facing dog. Ujjayi breath, fire it up. Take a great big inhale, left leg reaches up, stretch it out. Exhale, step your left foot to the top of your space, low lunge. Stay low, right hand on the ground or a block, left arm to the sky for your twist. So revolve lunge, back leg strong. If you wanna modify, your back knee can come down, otherwise your back leg is really powerful, as if the power of the pose is coming from your back leg. And then imagine you're trying to drag your left hip back, but at the same time, left knee, is magnetized to your right armpit. Breathe down into your belly, work your twist, take about two more. So each exhale, navel pulls back away from your thigh. Good job, end of your next exhalation. Let's unwind, walk your hands over to the right long edge of your yoga mat. So coming into that wide-legged straddle to begin with, but then we're gonna move into our low squat. So you can keep facing the same direction, but I'm gonna switch just so I'm facing you. So heel till your feet in as much as you need to. Your heels will be in, toes will be out. So again, come down into your low yogi squat. Try to keep your heels down if possible. If they lift, if they have to lift, that's okay. Stay where you're at, or if you want to, we're gonna add a twist this time. You can choose either side first. So reach your arm out and that opposite arm reaches up. The bind is in your practice. Go for it. One or two more rounds on this side. And then just switch when you're ready. Try to keep both heels down. Opening through whichever side is reaching up. Let that side of your heart open up. About two more. Good, end of your exhale, release. Let's lift our hips. Oh yeah, heel toe your feet out wide until you're as wide as you wanna take it. All 10 toes are now facing directly forward, so feet parallel, halfway lift. And then exhale, let it go. Ah, fold or explore in your own way. Totally up to you. Big deep breath. Next inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground, and then exhale, walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, so back to your low lunge. From your low lunge, three-legged down dog, so take your left leg all the way back and up, open up your left hip, bend your left knee. Great place to stay, get this nice stretch, or Flip your dog, nice and easy. Left foot comes down. Left arm forward, heart forward. Press your hips up. Breathe down into your belly. One more round, wherever you're at. And then regular down dog. Walk it out. Pedal out your heels. Shift your weight from side to side. Inhale, 
rock forward, high plank or modified plank. Exhale all the way to your belly, lower down. Let's take shoulder pigeon. Let's go with our right arm first. So right arm straight out to the right, palm faces the ground. And then gaze left, roll up onto your right side when you're ready. Left foot can come down behind you like a little kickstand. Or sometimes it feels better in my low back if I keep my left foot in front of me. If there's a stretch you want to take, like a quad stretch, or sometimes I like to play with hand to big toe pose here. Feel free. Primary focus is the front of your right shoulder. Make sure you can relax your head down on the ground, or if that's too much, then relax your head on a blanket or a pillow. Use something you've got at home. Big intentional breaths all the way down into your belly, all the way down into your low back. Soften your face. Unclench your jaw, loosen even through your cheeks and your tongue, the inside of your mouth. Take about three more rounds. And then let's slowly, and slowly is a key word, change sides so you don't have to go just super quickly to the other side but come through center take a moment on your belly maybe just turn your head the opposite direction kind of shimmy your hips or windshield wiper your shins and then as you're ready other side with your shoulder pigeon the left arm straight out Palm faces down, and then roll up onto your left side body. Big deep breath. about three or four more. I'm just going to leave it up to you ultimately when you feel pretty even on both sides ease your way back onto your belly and take a moment just resting maybe turn your head the other way for a second shimmy your hips breathe down into your low back And then bring your hands to your low back and interlace your fingers. Turn your forehead to rest on your mat. Exhale all of your breath out all the way to empty. Inhale, lift everything up. So lift your chest, lift your legs, 
lift your knuckles and reach your knuckles back. Hug in with your inner thighs. See if you can rotate your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. See if you can lift higher, breathe that into your belly, open the front of your shoulders, back of your neck long. So gaze slightly down, one more inhale. Exhale, let it go. Come up to hands and knees. Take a moment back in child's pose. It might even feel nice to take embryo pose, reach your arms back, grab your heels if that's available to you and you want to. And big deep breaths into your low back. Come into a seated position. Legs extend straight forward. We're going to take seated forward fold, Hashimotanasana. So if you want to sit up on top of something, put your hips on a bolster or a blanket or anything like that, please do. So bend your knees as much as you need to so you can find a tall spine. And it shouldn't feel like your tailbone is tucking under, rolling under. You want to feel like you're on the front edge of your sit bones. Flex your toes, press down through your heels. Find if your knees lift. Arms to the sky. Inhale here. As you exhale, like you're swan diving down, lead with your heart. Butt reaches back, heart reaches forward. Lengthen, and when you can't lengthen anymore, let it go. Once you let it go, so your upper back can round, but keep working the backs of your heels down and also see if you can press down through the backs of your thighs. Don't let your heels lift. Flex your toes, reach your butt back, low spine, really long, and then fold a little deeper with each exhale. Take three more deep breaths. See if you can get your inner thighs to rotate in and down towards the ground. Very end of your next exhalation, roll up super, super slow, roll super, super slow, 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 slow. Head is the very last thing to lift. Maybe you roll your head around just a couple times. And then let's take it all the way down onto our back. We're going to go straight into a bridge pose, basically. So as soon as you get onto your back, you might take a little rock. You might give your knees a little squeeze. You might take a quick full body stretch, but then just set yourself up for a bridge. So feet hips width distance apart, all 10 toes face forward, and arms by your sides. As you're ready, just lift everything up. So hips lift, spine lifts. You can work your shoulders underneath you, interlace your fingers here if you want. Take five to seven breaths in this heart opener. If you wanna turn it into a full back bend, if that happens to be in your practice and you're feeling it, or if you wanna Turn it into a restorative bridge. If you have something at home that you can use as a prop under your sacrum, feel free. So variations welcome. Breathe down into your belly. Hug in with your inner thighs. Root down especially through your heels and the inner edges of your feet. So you might even pick up your toes and spread them. Press into the back of your head. Little lift in your chin. Slow, intentional breaths, opening through your front body. Take one more huge round. And then if you're with me in bridge, stay in bridge, but bring your arms to reach up towards the sky, straight up. Inhale, arms reach up, 
Keep reaching up. Exhale as slow as you can. Roll your spine down. One vertebra at a time. Ah, good. When you get to a neutral spine, tee out your arms. Take your feet out to the width of your mat. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. Slowly, intentionally. Back and forth. A couple more times. Really mindfully. So not just moving mindlessly through the motions, but really feeling into each little piece of the movement. Finish the round you're on, and then come back to center. Find a happy baby pose. So soles of your feet press up towards the sky, but with your arms pulled down. Try to find a neutral spine as much as you're able to. Maybe rock it out or extend one leg and then the other leg, both at the same time, anywhere you want to go. Eventually, just start your transition into your final relaxation, your final Shavasana. So whenever you're ready, just let your breath become effortless. And your body, you just give in to gravity. Really let go. Your muscles soften. And as you kind of drift off into your Shavasana, I'll just leave you with this simple thought. And you don't, sometimes people take it really literally, and I, you can take it literally, but it's just more something to kind of think about and feel into it. It's by Jeff Foster. And all he says is, Nothing can make you happy until nothing can make you happy. I'm going to leave you here in your Shavasana to stay for as long as you'd like. So if you can just drift off into your dreamland, awesome if you have the time. Otherwise, stay for as long as you can. And then if you want to close your practice for yourself in a way that resonates for you, perfect. So... I hope to see you next Tuesday. Heather, thank you so much for joining. Rest for as long as you want. I'm just leaving you here. <laughs> Namaste. Recording stuff.